Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Um, tis the day, rocking some Mink Miamis. I was like, we need to live our best life. Now, I did um, try a new foundation combination today, and I don't know that I love it. And then I mixed in some of the ABH, um, like Liquid Glow or whatever. If you guys watch, that's also, I'm wearing the Norvina palette. If you guys uh, saw that video or you've already seen that video, I can link it for you right here. But um, I, I picked it up in that haul. So I'm actually wearing one of the glosses right now. Because uh, I told you guys in that video, like, I'm going to work with this for a hot minute. So that way I can keep, like, figuring out what I like, what I don't like, all that good stuff. Um, so I can give you guys a really good update on it. Because I'd like to do that update relatively soon um just because like it's a really hot new launch um but just fun fact i do find that it applies really really nicely like the glitters and the shimmers i talked in that video about how they didn't pop really well over concealer but they do pop very very nicely with a glitter glue so right now that's like my tried and true but i'm gonna keep playing with both just to make sure that i'm good with that but anyways on my lips i am wearing the flower beauty this is their naked blush lipstick right here and then i'm wearing venus which is a gloss from that video over top just to give like that cute little shine moment um but yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much all i'm doing now i was just uh, thinking real quick um i was watching a video and i don't even know how it ended up like when i'm getting ready a lot of times in the morning i will just sorry the lawn is getting mowed next door and it's very loud but i was um oh yes when i'm getting ready i'll just put on like um whatever like uh um any video honestly any video like on youtube and it'll just play through a few videos nine times out of ten actually it pisses me off because youtube like replays videos that i've seen literally a hundred times because it will just keep replaying them like i love for example the jeffree star and garrett watts like i think that that one's so cute and funny it will continuously play that one over and over and over and it's like hey youtube how about you fix your algorithm and like send a videos i've never seen or be like similar videos and content so that other creators like myself might have a chance to get featured but that's neither here nor there so um today I was okay stop it thank you I was sitting there and the weirdest thing happened I'm like who is this I like recognized the voice but it was like down here I didn't have my glasses on I finally like you know squint down and look and it's Trisha Paytas and I'm like oh okay whatever like I'll listen and it was actually a vlog that or uh, like a little sit down chatty thing that she was doing talking about people coming to her door and like you know trying to get pictures with her and stuff and I had did see the one she kept referencing like Jenna and Julian how they did one like you can't go to a youtuber's house you can't go and just like be creepy and like follow them places like there have been youtubers that they still have real jobs like me like we still live a real life in the world and then you kind of like go to our houses or places of work or whatever and it's just to me like that is so weird and as such a small channel i can't imagine that happening but i will say right now that that is such a huge invasion of privacy like i was raised in a world where like my mom taught me what was right and wrong and what was rude and what was acceptable and i understand that people like build relationships on Online with other people but I cannot be the only one like I know that as your following builds you attract like different types of people so right now I feel like my following it's very small and it's normal people people that would know that seeking out someone in their real life is wrong um, but I will go on record and be like no because Trisha Paytas, she was like, you guys, it's not going to be a good experience. And I'm sitting here thinking like, yeah, you think it's not going to be a good experience? Don't ever stalk my ass because you will not like it. And I was just like, oh my God. As I, And as I'm listening to this, I just couldn't. I mean, I was actually like, I put down my brushes and I was listening to what she was saying. Like someone, she lives, she said she lives in like this four story thing. Um, and it's got like guards on each floor. Like it's, you know, a really gated, guarded, like apartment building basically from what I could gather and uh, she said that somebody um, like a neighbor of hers like up on one of her levels um, came to her door and was like hey you know could my friend's kid get a picture with you whatever and I was like okay like and she even said like technically this lady isn't trespassing she lives in this building okay so it's really just rude because you know at this point and it's like I think that Trisha which is so crazy because to me she's like so crazy and like off the wall but she put it the best she said when we are out in public or at an event we are out in public but when I'm at home, she said, my hair is up, my tracks are showing, like, I'm just sitting here. She's like, I might be just sitting in my bra. Like, I'm, I'm in my home. And no matter what, every person should be afforded 
the opportunity to just like be alone and I think about myself and how you guys know like I'm sick all the time I literally want to be left alone 90% of the time because I don't feel good and there's nothing worse than that feeling of like having to try and like look like you feel okay when really you don't that is the shittiest feeling ever and I just can't imagine being like oh, I'm chilling like I'm just hanging out in my you know house or whatever and then all of a sudden these people come to the door and it's like how do you and she even said she said how do I balance this I don't want to be rude to them because you guys watching me and supporting me is like literally how I became someone but at the same time there has to be a mutual respect so that I feel comfortable enough to be able to put out content for you to watch and I thought like that's she put it so perfectly for someone who's always like bah! She put it the absolute like perfect way that I've ever heard it put and I just wanted to like come on here and be like I'm sorry does that like as normal people again I have under 4,000 subscribers by the time this goes up I might have over 4,000 who knows but um, as someone that has like that small of a channel still I can't imagine that but at the same time like it's not crazy because you guys will ask me and this is probably a good time to mention this I get asked a lot like whether it's in private messages or like just in comments or whatever like hey where do you live or whatever in northern Michigan I the closest I will ever tell anyone I live is northern Michigan because I can't give anything more than that away a I wouldn't feel safe and be like obviously I have family and other people to consider and so it's just not something I would ever do um, personally but you know I understand now why people don't talk about where they live or all that kind of stuff because I would never in a million years think like even if I thought that Shane Dawson lived next door to me I'd never think it was acceptable to just like walk over to his house you know what I mean like that to me is just so weird you don't go places unless you're invited I have this is how I was raised like I was raised where like if my friends wanted to come over my mom would welcome anyone no friend too big or small like everyone was welcome that sounded really weird but everyone was welcome moral of my story and the only rule was that you had to call first and my mom would always tell me this because she used to say Paige it's rude to show up uninvited it's rude to show up unannounced if you are wanting to go somewhere ever you either wait for an invite or you call like if it's a good friend you say hey you know I'm is it okay if I come over today like I'm bored whatever it doesn't matter and then you decide and the reason that that's important and this was like for me this was a big thing growing up was because when you show up at someone's house uninvited when you show up at someone's house without calling or anything what you are telling them is that what I want is more important than what you want because like say for example I'm sitting and I'm hanging out with my parents and we're watching the ranch okay because we watched the ranch um although rooster's gone spoiler alert i'm like what the hell am i gonna do with my life but anyways if we are sitting there watching the ranch and billy bob joe just wants to like walk through the front door you are really rude because what you're saying is that you as billy bob joe is more important than what we are doing that's not okay that's not acceptable in any sense of the word because you wanting to spend time with any of us not only is that rude to say that what you want is more important than what we're doing but it's also wrong because now you never gave me the option to want to hang out with you so now I'm like bitter like why 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 are you I don't know it drives me insane and I was just like that was always the one rule was if you want to come over you have to call and even now as an adult like I my very best friends will be like hey Paige I was gonna stop over but I didn't have time to call then it's a good thing you didn't stop over because I'll bounce your ass right back out and these are my best friends there's only one exception and that is like when I was younger it was a surprise like there was a person it was a friend of mine he was coming home from the military and obviously like that's not something you call for but they didn't come to my house they went to a friend's house and then I went there and that was the surprise like you know what I mean they still found a way around it so and that's only happened one time like you just do not do it it's so freaking rude like no I would say easily top five pet peeves that is one of them anyways okay I'm gonna go and I'll check in with you guys later uh, just a little bit of real talk uh, from me to you but look at my highlight isn't that so blinding yes oh my god I love a good highlight mm, okay I'm gonna go by the way this is my sips diet coke this is from um oh shit uh, Alex learning to be fearless this was one of her merch t-shirts that she did like a year ago I love it so much I love it. <laughs> I'm like, this is me. <laughs> Sips Diet Coke. Okay, I'm gonna go and I will check in with you guys very, very soon. Thanks for listening to me rant because I, I needed, I needed it. <laughs> well, good morning, you guys. I have to tell you, 
having a really rough minute. I just spent um, the last hour doing a talk through explanation everything um, on how I do my hair, how I get it to look like this, like all my tips and tricks. <sighs> everything okay i spent so long like there's so much dry shampoo in my hands because i was really i was just i was explaining it it was probably the best like explanation i've ever come up with for anything and for part of it i had to be like looking like turning back so you guys could like see the back of my head and see what i was talking about and then i found out the camera had stopped recording and i'm not gonna lie tested my faith in god there for just a second <laughs> I'm like, I was like, and I like had a moment. I was like, what do I do? And then I was like, I'm done. I'm done. Like I went so natural with the makeup today. Like not natural. You know what I mean? Like I didn't do anything. No fake lashes. I went like really chill on the face because I wanted it to be all about the hair. And then that happened and it took everything that I had. Sorry, there was like a giant, like a big truck going by, but like really creepily slow walking in the window. And I didn't, I don't really want to be seen. Like why? Let's just, let's just come over here for a second. Are they gone? Can you hear that? Oh, okay. We're good now. They were like going down the road. It was like a big ass tractor convoy. Anyways, so needless to say, I'm so annoyed today. <laughs> like that was not a good start to my day. And it took so long because I was doing such a good job. Mm, I don't know. And I thought you guys really wanted to see it because so many people have been like, Paige, like, how do you do this? Like, how do you get that much volume? Because I naturally have such flat fucking hair. Like, my hair is so flat. Oh my gosh. Like, that was one of those, like, burp hiccup cough things. I don't know what that was. But anyways, you guys... And I, like, and I went so fast, too. Like, so fast through the rest of my makeup just so I could have all the time to do this tutorial. And I know, like, right now it's looking a little bit, you know, different. But I love this look so much. Like, I've come to love having this really fun, like, tousled hair curl moment. Um, I love it so much. Okay, this curl's a little bit unruly, but that's fine. And my hair falls, like, the minute that I do anything anyway, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. But you guys have asked for, like, weeks now, like, oh my god, will you show us how you do your hair? And then I finally do it. And uh, I get clocked by the universe, so I thought that was fun. I thought I would share. Now, on a fun fact, um, for my, like, face makeup today, yesterday I tested out the new, um, what is that? The new Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I tested that out. I will link it up here. It was my first impression. So today I'm actually, I'm using it again, but I mixed it with some Dior drops because I went to grab my Catrice ones and they rolled under my bed and I was too lazy to actually retrieve them. So I just used my Dior drops. So I added in a couple like of that, um, like three pumps of my Beauty Blender Foundation, a couple squirts of the Dior Forever Undercover, the really high coverage one, and then like a little dollop of the Anastasia of the Anastasia uh, glow highlight just to give me like a really nice like all over and then I'm testing out a new uh, contour palette right now so I think that overall though my makeup looks really nice and fun and fresh I'm working on a, uh, a video like a concept I guess I should say because some of you have said like will you do a natural makeup like to me for me this would be natural makeup like really light light flush light everything little to nothing on my eyes just a little bit of definition mascara brows now for a lot of people that actually are lucky enough to have brow hair you wouldn't have to do your brows quite this intense but I literally have no brows like my brow my brow hair is next to none and it is blonde so I don't have a choice but to go full brow every day um, but I don't know what do you guys think is this like something that you would want to see like Paige what's your natural go-to moment because keeping in mind I wear glasses on my face so once you add the glasses it looks like I'm really natural and like subdued and chill and it's so fast like so fast <laughs> like I mean I mixed you know I mix a couple things I tried a different couple concealers whatever excuse you but anyways back to what I was saying so what do you guys think I would love to know your thoughts is this like natural ish makeup again for me I think it is because I love like no matter what I want my face to be full coverage but I also want it to have like a nice glowy look and you can still see like I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to stop giving my opinion. If this is something that you're like, yeah, that's natural enough, you can let me know. If to you, because see, that's the thing. People have different levels of natural. To me, natural makeup is like little to nothing on the eyes, no fake lashes, nothing like that. I'm going to seriously kill you if you don't shut up. Who are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. It's somebody that I just told to text me. 
Oh my god. I mean, I'm like on the warpath today. I just found out it wasn't Thursday or Friday. It's Wednesday, and I was very upset about that fact. It feels like seven days have went by already, and in fact, only one has, so that, and then this happens, like, huh. But anyways, um, for me, I, just minimal makeup is like, you know, really nice. I like my skin to look beautiful, but like little to nothing on the eyes, because I feel like that's what always gives it away. Like, if you are full, full beat, what gives it away more than having like fake lashes and all this eyeshadow? But see, then there's an, I don't know, I don't know. What do you guys think? I just love, my skin looks so nice right now. Like, I'm so impressed with how smooth it looks. And the highlight looks really good. And I don't know, just everything looks good. I'm really happy with it. So tell me what you guys think. And if you, it needs to be a little bit more natural, I will keep working in that direction. But I do want to come up with a routine because so many of you have asked me, like, hey, what's your what's a natural routine for you? Natural routines vary for everyone. And I think that you guys get that. But other people, I have watched other people put up, like, oh, my natural go-to makeup. And they, like, the people in the comments freak the fuck out. They're like, that's not natural. And it's like, you guys, everybody's version of natural is different. Because everyone has different things that they want to hide. So many YouTubers, they say, oh, my go-to natural, and then they add false lashes. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's is different. P.S. My false, my, my real lashes today... They look so good. Do you guys see how good they look right now? I'm like, yes. Because my biggest fear, you know it, in wearing fake lashes for as long as I wore fake lashes was I was afraid I was going to lose my real ones because my real ones aren't that bad. Like, you know, for, for what they are, they're not awful. And I was terrified that I was going to lose my real lashes. So I'm so happy that I still have them. Okay, that's a creepy look, Paige, but they're not actually that bad, right? Right, right. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I have a hundred things I have to go do. I just wanted to stop on and tell you about my debacle of a morning. And I'm gonna answer that text message before I have a heart attack. And I will check in with you guys a little bit later and see how things are going. I'm so sad, like RIP hair tutorial, RIP. Because it would have been so damn good. RIP, damn it. Yeah, you old girl, what you doing? You just being old and cute? Yeah. All right, guys, so update on this uh, foundation situation. Not the best combination I've ever had. I think the problem, and I am currently like getting blasted with light, obviously. Um, it doesn't look so bad in this lighting, but it, ha it did break apart and get really oily today. Like, I've had to blot probably 17 times. Um, and I think the thing with this foundation is that I'm gonna have to find a way to use it where it doesn't, um, it doesn't dry out as much, which is gonna be a tricky one. It's almost like it just gets really, really matte really fast. I did bring a uh, like a setting spray with me. I think it was the new one from Smolder Cosmetics. And I gave my face like a nice overall kind of drench just to, you know, kind of keep it all together. That helped a lot. And I did that around like noonish. Um, but for the most part, I, I think that I love the way the foundation looks. I just have to find that right way to wear it. But I do think it looks really pretty every time. So I'm gonna keep working with it and trying that out. But this is just from me to you guys. Pro tip, if you don't, uh, if you live like in the country or I don't really care you know you live in a small town whatever one of the best things you will ever do is go for a ride in an old beat-up pickup truck because my we own more than our fair share and here comes my dad but it's one of my favorite things to do it's so ex relaxing and amazing and oh that wasn't my dad but it's just so amazing and I love it and you have all the windows down like right now I'm actually basting in a puddle of my own sweat because it's quite hot in this car uh, because obviously old beater pickup trucks they have no AC <laughs> but stuff like this is just really nice I don't know I like it that's that's one of those things like if you're if you're a, a northern Michigander if you are like a rural area kind of person you know that there's just something about like this scratchy ass like like seed and just you know not having shit for AC and it, it being a rough ride because it's a stick shift you know stuff like that and there's just there's something about it and uh if that's if that's who you are and that's born into you just don't ever let that leave because it's fucking magical i can't imagine i love watching people trying to make a left at a right hand only turn okay that's cute but yeah i can't imagine ever ever growing up growing up and feeling like you know oh, i'm gonna move to like california or whatever and losing that you know what i mean isn't that i don't know like i always think about it you know uh what was it uh laura laura lee how she like grew up and then she moved to california and and all that and she's like nope i don't live in alabama like that's not who i am whatever i can't imagine going to that extreme because it would be kind of like me leaving you know northern michigan and going to a place like alabama like that would just be insane or not alabama 
Alabama, going to a place like California or something like that is just the opposite of who I am and what I love in life. Uh, granted, I guess it's like inside the person, you know, that's kind of who she is, but oh my God, that's so crazy. I can, I could not picture it. Like I, just the thought of having to go to the city, it gives me like umpteen hives. Like I can't, it is so hot right now and it's so humid today. Like my hair fell out because that's my world, but yeah, I don't know, my fibro is acting up really weird today. Like my ears actually hurt from my earrings. I had to take them out for like half the day. It's not fun. But anyways, I just wanted to stop on and tell you guys that you know what? If you know somebody with an old truck, even if it's not an old truck, just go for a drive with the windows down. It's so relaxing. And if you're blessed enough to have an awesome mom or dad, do it with them. They're not so bad, they're just weird. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm gonna go because now here comes my dad. <laughs> He's ready to go. <laughs> Okay, so guys, here's the deal. I forgot to check in this morning. This is like, I don't have any good lighting right now. I'm getting blasted with natural light. I should have done this outside. But anyways, I'm trying the Beauty Blender foundation again today. Um, I'm doing it differently. Today, I remember how I said yesterday that the Catrice rolled under my uh, bed? I retrieved it because I was a little less lazy this morning. Tiny bit. And so I went and I grabbed that and I put about uh one two three like maybe four dropper fulls of that and about three pumps of the beauty blender foundation all over but i did not add any glow highlight it was just those two um and then i did like i topped the most of my face with the mac powder that i've been using the mac foundation powder and i have to say it looks so much better already i'm still having a lot of oil come through on the nose area but the rest of my face looks so smooth actually you know what Hold on a second. What if I go over here? This lighting might be a little... There we go. There we go. So you can see the... I mean, like, as far as the texture overall, looks literally pristine. And it's, like, noon right now. So this has already been on my face for, like, four hours. And it look, my hair looks like absolute ass. I had a really bad morning. I stabbed myself in the eye, like, literally three times per eye because I was just, I guess, bored. Um, but I did do this really beautiful cut crease. Isn't that so pretty? Like I can't, I can't function with how pretty that is. I don't remember which lashes these are. I will try to remember to find that out and tell you later. But I think that the uh, the foundation actually looks really beautiful. I love it. Hello, mother. You are beautiful oh, in I, every single way. I hate that song more than life itself. But thank you. Words can't bring you down. No, they can't. Are you good now? Do you feel better about your life? Because that was any song but that. You could sing me any song but that. Because I hate that song. So back to this foundation. <laughs> So I really, anyways, I love the way that my skin looks and I and I went in with like a different highlight palette today and I do, I just feel like my skin overall looks really like healthy and fresh and so I'm hoping that this is like a good combination. We shall see. Maybe it's so like anti, or well, not anti-oil, but yesterday it did so, so bad with oil and I think maybe it was because I added that glow highlight into it, like maybe those two textures don't mix. So today I did just the two foundations and it seems to be doing so much better. Like, look at my face. Don't you think my face looks good today? Did you even look at it? Don't you love me? I didn't look. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, I love it when I have, like, eyeliner all over my la uh, lashes. I have it over here, too. It doesn't look bad. It looks no. a little matty. Does it really? To me. You think it looks matte? Mm -hmm. I can, okay, you know what? I guess I could yeah. see that. It what do you think matte. of, like, the highlight area? Doesn't it highlight look... Highlight looks good. I look glowy, don't I? Like, my skin looks very healthy. Mm, I've seen better... Oh, well, definitely. On your face. So I'm not going to say this is the best. But what I love is that even around the nose, like on the sides right here and here, it looks really nice. Like it looks healthy right there. Mm -hmm. You have a natural glow. Right yes, there. exactly. And I feel like the forehead looks really good. The cheeks look really nice. Like this foundation, I actually reviewed it a few days ago. It's the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. And uh, when I reviewed it, one of the things that it said in the description is that that foundation they formulated, quote unquote, to go through and actually reduce the appearance of pores on your face and like smooth texture so that's what I've been testing and a lot of times when I test out like a super super hype foundation a foundation that everyone wanted to know about I test it once in the first impression that they watch and then in the following vlog I use it like every single day and I use it different ways to see how it best works for oily skin right so I try to give them you know more and more info but I think that for like I mean this looks really good I think I'm actually really impressed 
This is like my third or fourth time using it. I love it. Yeah, I really like it. Okay, I just wanted to check in with you guys. I we, got one for you. We will talk, what? Are you ready for it? One what? You got one what for me? What do you got? Well, I don't know about this. What are you doing to me? Uh. You're too sexy for your hair. Too sexy for your eyes. Too sexy, yeah. There you go. Get into it. Too sexy for your shirt. Too sexy for that lipstick. Oh, well, <laughs> the lipstick does look really good. <laughs> Thank you, mother. Mm. I Is that you. a better choice? It's so much better because I hate that fucking sock. Hey, 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 now. No, I, no, I do. And I'm no, just not a fan. Oh, hers too sexy, too. Hi, Cesar Poop. Look at her. She looks like she's crying. <laughs> Honey, you look like you're being ransomed right now. <laughs> oh, baby Pooper. Do you see how upset my dog always looks? Oh, my gosh. She's so upset about life. Tell me everything, Poop. Tell me good. Look at her, she's looking all around like we're gonna do something you to her. You want me to tell you how to get her? Tell her, C O O K I E? No. Squirrel. Where's the squirrel? Where's her squirrel? Where's the squirrel? Where's the squirrel? Where is it? Do you see it? Now, if we were outside, she'd oh, be Oh, she'd be running. Her t ears would be out. She'd be all over. She's squirrel. What's outside? Who's there? Do I hear? Listen. There we go. Listen, Pooper. Do you see it? Listen. Good girl. Good girl, those are boob. And now we're back to being panicked. Yeah, so we used to live in an old, old farmhouse, and there were always like a million squirrels running all over the place. And so now that's what Pooper, she knows that squirrel, even, but anything can be a squirrel a leaf, a rabbit, a bug, it's all a squirrel. There's a gopher that runs Yeah, around. yeah, there's a gopher that runs around out here. Also a squirrel. Like to her, you just squirrel, poof. And, but like, then you had to move up in size to something bigger. So she knows what DOGs are. Like, you say dog, and we're like out in a car. That dog is on full alert looking for whoever and whatever she should kick its ass because DOGs do not belong in her world. She is the only one, even Hazel. She don't like that bitch either. And then bigger, the next size up is deer. She knows what deer are, but anything big is a deer, whether it's a horse, a cow, she goes nose a sheep. Nose with them. Yeah, and she but she doesn't know like that they're all different. She just knows that anything bigger than her is a deer. Anything with four legs, even remotely close to her size as a dog, and anything below, like our knee size, it's a, it's a squirrel. So needless to say, she's not the smartest, but she's all we got. <laughs> well, her and Hazel, who also not that smart. Hazel's taking a nap, hold on a second. Who's our baby taking a nap? Her so sleepy, I'm sorry, did I wake it up? Oh, I'm sorry, Hazel Bean. Look at that little face. Oh, her so beautiful, huh? Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. She was sleeping. Look at that face. She's so tired. Look at her. She just lays her head on my hand. Please, sissy. Please go away. I want to take a nap. I love you. What do you think, Bubbies, huh? Huh? Are you just so sleepy? You guys, this dog, if you wake her up, she literally thinks the world over. Like, she can't function. In the morning, we get up really early in this house, like 4 a.m. Clearly, she doesn't want to get up that early. So, I get up and I start to, like, hang out with her or whatever. And she's so groggy, she can barely move. She's, bam, and she'll just fall over. It is the cutest shit. Yeah, you better stretch out. Okay, so end of the day, this has been on my face forever. Um, what I do love is that it still has this really beautiful glowy look to it. Okay, man, this, me and this friggin', I'm having an issue today, you guys. The problem is that this eye watered so much today, like you can see it stripped off my foundation, um, but it just watered and watered and watered, and apparently it finally, finally got to the inner part of the eye. Anyway, so focus, excuse me, focus on the page, focus on the page, thank you. So let's talk about this foundation. This is definitely the most successful like run that I have had with it. Oh boy, right up here too, huh? Um, this is the most successful one I've had. It had the least amount of breakage around my mouth, which is good, but it still does have a really beautiful glowy look to it, like even in areas where I didn't apply highlight. So I think the one thing that we've learned for sure about this foundation is that um, 
you don't need to add like glowy drops to it like any type of liquid highlight how, how i'll add like mark jacobs dew drops or whatever to give it like a really beautiful luminescent and i'm pretty sure this foundation like just does it on its own and i know that because i've added this in now with two different foundations the dior was yesterday and then the catrice liquid was today and both of those did not like or both of those are not by themselves a luminous dewy those are very matte very like straight to the point kind of foundation and so for them to be luminous wouldn't be the case but this when it's on is just looking so gorgeous and yes like right in here this is highlight but all of this on the sides of my nose is not highlight like over on the side of my face how it just looks really healthy and radiant that's not highlight like i mean overall i just think it looks really really nice um so i think if i were to say anything further about it definitely you don't need any glowy drops in there um and my biggest thing would just be to not over apply it that seems to be like the running thing like i didn't touch up at all today i'm gonna see if i can give you guys a slight close-up okay but you have to stay focused that's like the whole deal come on there we go you can definitely see like we had some breakage or whatever but it's mainly around the mouth the cheeks and like this whole area still look really really nice the only breakage i had was like on the nose which got pretty cakey up there up under the nose which is pretty normal for me wow there's a lot of black right there um that happened but the forehead i mean yes the hulk he got a little hungry but even for the most part for how long this has been on my face i think that it looks really good and again that's like literally all i did today thank you all i did today was blot my nose a few times because it is really oily and no matter what i do the oil is happening so if you have oily skin be warned but um i do think it does like a really beautiful job the way that it kind of settles onto the skin and i think the reason that it looks so nice on these areas is because it does a beautiful job at like settling in and reducing texture but the fact that it breaks up so much right here tells me that it doesn't really stretch with your skin and it doesn't move with your skin which is kind of annoying but I mean I guess you can't have it all sometimes so I don't know I think overall like it's definitely not bad it's growing on me for sure um and yesterday when I wore it I actually did like touch it up with that MAC powder like I talked about and that did help kind of revive it so if I had to go somewhere right now I would just hit my face with a little bit of that MAC powder and I would probably be fine to leave um but yeah I don't know not not bad so far at the end of the day though oh girl my chin is oily right here like there's so much oily on my face by the end of the day, I tell you what. Oh, I have not decided if I'm going to wear um, this foundation again because I want to go through and see what other ways I would wear it. I know for sure I want to try it with my Cover FX blotting drops, but I can't freaking find those. And I thought, my mind, I'm like, wait a second, the Catrice rolled under the bed yesterday. Maybe that's where my blotting drops are. But they weren't there so i don't know where the hell those things are um but if i can find those ideally i think it would be a really good candidate because i'm getting so oily um i think that those would be uh, something good to try but if i can't find those i don't know what i'm gonna wear or if i'm even gonna do it again who's to know so we will find out tomorrow but i just wanted to check in give you guys a little heads up and you know kind of show you how good this damn cheek is looking yes bitch so good morning you guys happy friday i just wanted to stop in real quick i was like literally running from place to place but i tried to find the best lighting and of course i don't know why i would check anywhere else this is always the best lighting but let's talk about today's foundation now I was actually going to do a foundation wear test on a totally different one that you guys will see after you're watching this vlog, but I found my Cover FX drops. So for today, I primed my skin with the uh, ski, uh, Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For, and then I mixed the same combo as yesterday. So I did the Beauty Blender Foundation the Catrice, and I used my Cover FX blending drops or somebody right down there creeper um like like just scuttling along the road i'm like excuse me sir but i mixed all of those today and i think so far this is the best that it's look looked as far as pores go p.s mascara got me right there and like no matter how much i try to remove it you can still see it like in the shadow it's really cute but anyways so i'm liking the way that this looks as of right now i think it looks really good and like fresh um, I'm a little bit worried that going forward it could look a little cakey throughout the day, um, but we're definitely going to just keep trying it. I went for like a really simple natural look today. Um, I even put my hair up, which is funny because I have like no hair to put up. 
So I have like a thousand bobby pins. You could, there's no way you saw that. But there's literally like 15 bobby pins at the at the nape of my neck right now, just trying to like <laughs> get my life together. So, anyways, I wanted to share that with you. We're definitely gonna test it now. This is going to be the last time that I do this uh, with this foundation because if I can't find a way to make it work, I'm never gonna recommend this. And the only reason I tried it so many times is because I feel like it does have like a really beautiful smoothing moment at the beginning, but near the end of every single day, my pores in this area look so emphasized like ridiculous like you, it literally looks like the skin of an orange and it looks like it every time I wear it no matter how I mix it so I'm definitely excited because oh my god there's like gloss on the inside of my mouth is not a good look um but I keep trying it because if I can use that cover fx that stuff is a really good smoothing like mix in so if that smooths it out then we're in business but if not well then we're just gonna chalk this one up to no thank you so I'm gonna go Oh, by the way, this lip gloss, life-changing. It's all I'm wearing. I'm only wearing a gloss on my lips. Just got it in yesterday. This is uh, an Anastasia gloss in the shade Toffee. My God. Do you see the shine? That's, that's, it's that opaque all by itself. Nothing, no lip liner even, like nothing. Some real lashes, and then I just did like some really simple eye stuff. Like nothing crazy, just really simple, slick, like my hair's back. I want to look like the girl on the go, but the girl that gave a shit, you know, that's kind of the look I'm going for. So let's hope my foundation agrees and lasts because I think as of right now, it looks really good. Here, like let's step into the light. And you can even see like the pores, they're a little emphasized right now, but in the morning, they usually look pretty good good focus there we go they look pretty good in the morning but like near the end of the day is when it is absolutely ridiculous like this whole area right here even my mom is like why does your skin look like that and I said look like what because I hadn't looked in the mirror and she goes your skin looks so textured and I was like damn you know I guess it, it does and I just didn't notice it because I was in lighting and I was looking in the viewfinder so anyways I just wanted to show you guys so this is kind of the before moment look at my fucking mess that made me so mad but look at how good my real lashes still look yes I'm taking a couple of days off from fake lashes um which I'll have them on tomorrow and Sunday obviously but okay so that's the before and let's go on continue with our day and I'll check in soon by the way deal with my shirt enjoy coca-cola what's ironic is that I don't drink coke I don't like regular coke I only like diet coke from McDonald's focus on the page thank you um so I don't like regular coke but I just love the shirts like I love the print the graphic of it I feel like it's so cute and nostalgic so I wear it but I'm a diet coke light eyes from McDonald's girl and don't you forget it hey guys okay so it's the end of the day it is almost 4 30 and I wanted to check back in and I decided to check in in this lighting because I felt like this way you would actually get to see what I was talking about with that texture don't mind that like the end of my nose all the foundation has just gotten wiped off some twit named Paige, uh, she could feel a hair on her nose. And instead of like, you know, growing up and like going to get a mirror, I just wiped it and I wasn't even thinking. And I literally, like you can see right there, I wiped off all the foundation. Like, look at that. That's a good look, right? So anyways, um, so here's everything. Like, look at that freaking texture. Is that not ridiculous? Texture on my chin, all around my mouth, on my nose. Oh, it's so, there's my mascara still. It's so frustrating and it still settles into these lines. Like, here's my final friggin' thought with this whole thing. I, my nose itches, there's still a hair on my nose. It's driving me nuts. Oh, P.S. though, the oil was way, wow, wow. Paige, how much did you remove? A shit ton. Okay. Um, the oil control was a lot better today. I just blotted for the first time like 10 minutes ago. So the oil control was spot on. But no matter what I do, I cannot make this foundation look smooth all day. It looks really smooth in the morning like by itself mixed in with other stuff. It looks very smooth. But as it wears throughout the day, holy shit whore is it ridiculously bumpy like i can't and i can't work with this like that looks so ridiculous um i will say that it does perform pretty well if you have to like um blot and then add some coverage over top of it like with like mac powder anything like that just like some foundation powder it does really well like you can really liven it back up which is good um and i also really think it looks nice if you add that give it a good spray with more of like a hydrating or a dewy setting spray like um 
um, like the Recover or whatever the RX one is from Too Faced, that one, um, that's really, really good. And it's like, a, again, a more dewy one, um, anything like that. I have used MAC, uh, the Fix Plus, I used that the other day, but I think it just does better overall with a more dewy or luminous one because it helps like liven it up instead of mattify it down. So overall, thoughts on this foundation? I'm honestly not obsessed. Like I've used it now all week to do this video for you guys. Um, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not in love with it, but, um, apparently it's like almost time to function again. I just got everybody to leave me alone like six seconds ago, so, mm -hmm. but, um, that's it for this week's vlog. I wasn't gonna, uh, end it here, but then I was like, I might as well end it here, so, mm -hmm. um, like, why not? Because I know what always happens, without fucking fail, I always forget to end it, and then I'm editing, and I was like... Paige, you forgot to film the outro. Like, what is wrong with you? So anyways, you guys can let me know. Give this a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you like these types of videos where I take a really hot, super on-trend, really talked about foundation release, and I try to make it work. I did it with the ColourPop one. You guys loved that because I tried it umpteen different ways. I tried this one a hundred different ways, so I really hope that you like it. And I feel like it's good, too. I don't do it with every foundation, obviously, but I, on ones where I really feel like there's something special there, I really do try and I really really try to make them work so I hope that you guys like this again leave down in the comments let me know if you like these style because it's still technically a vlog but it's just like a throughout the week this is how I wear it type of thing and then like sporadic like interesting random like type of shit I don't know you guys can tell me leave it down below thank you guys so much for watching you are so fantastic and amazing and yeah I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week bye